the shoes and the purse make a dress. You probably have heard that saying and chances are use it yourself. For the ballroom version of it, we are talking about accessories. I'm Bella from Dress for Dance and let's get started. So what is the difference between ballroom and everyday accessories and jewelry? Well, first of all, there is no such thing as too much. Just because people are gonna see you from far away and you don't really know what kind of light is going to be in the ballroom, you really want to make sure that you have a big chunky jewelry on you. I'm not saying that you should put three necklaces, dozens of bracelets, and God knows how many hair pieces, absolutely not. Editing and a good taste is always a good thing to exercise, but please don't ask yourself, is it too much? Chances are it's not. What is the difference between ballroom necklace and everyday evening jewelry? To start with, it is not made out of diamonds. It is Swarovski crystal for most part. We do not have prongs like we would have in the evening jewelry. And the prongs are very catchy. So they can catch on your hair, they can catch on your sleeve, on your costume. Um, this is not a good thing. And it is pretty heavy. It does rotate around you as you dance. The ballroom jewelry, we are trying to make sure that you are not going to be caught on absolutely anything. We are gluing all the stones. And there is a reason for that. It is a silicone glue and it gets stuck to your body. Let's talk about earrings. Evening jewelry is made out of metal and the prongs are holding your rhinestone. That makes the earring really, really heavy. The ballroom jewelry, everything is glued, just like with a necklace. That makes the earring really light. Also, it prevents the earring on catching onto anything that can come close to it, especially when you do your hand work. Catching your sleeve onto the earring is not fun. The earrings can have a clip and there is a little soft padding that prevents ear from hurting and the pressure with which the earring is being held to your ear loop can be adjusted. Let's, let's talk about bracelets. The ballroom bracelet, just like your ballroom earring or a ballroom necklace, does not have metal prongs that are holding your rhinestone. The rhinestones are glued to the base. That prevents the bracelet from catching onto yours or your partner's clothes. The bracelet can be glued on a hard base. That allows the bracelet to go up and down your hand as you're dancing. Or the bracelet could go on elasticated base. We usually suggest elasticated base for people who get easily distracted by the movement on their hands. You can have one bracelet or you can get a whole bunch of skinny bracelets. They're so much fun, they're going to be moving as you're dancing and they're going to add a lot to the overall look of your costume. We also have cups. Cups are made in exactly the same way as the necklace. They stretch just a little bit because it is a silicone glue, but they are really not designed to stretch. They're much wider and they are being held either by the snap, by the stitch on hooks, or by the Velcro. I get a lot of questions about the difference in styling between the rhythm and Latin section and your smooth and standard section. In your smooth and standard section, for most part, we're gonna see the beautiful arrangement of large stones that are being held by a clip or a French clip. Whereas in the rhythm or Latin section, you will see mostly hoops. People who do not have their ears pierced, we can get something of this nature. They also have holder on the back but they still have the look. Recently, the little 
tassels are getting to be much inside. So do our guys have accessories? Of course they do. In standard dancing, we have a bow tie for them. The plastic color that they can put on and remove uh, is plastic so it's easy to be washed. We have suspenders and we have a waistcoat. For our guys, we also have a selection of studs and gorgeous couplings. For smooth dancers, we have pocket squares that are matching ladies' costume, and we have a huge variety of ties. They are also matching ladies' costume in the color or in a rhinestone design, and this is a zip tie. You can pull it higher up, like so. Another thing to consider is with your training dress, a beautiful crystallized waistband and a necklace, of course, a gorgeous earring and a bracelet. That outfit can take you to your first competition or to a nice showcase. Ballroom dance accessories can take you way beyond competition dance. For example, when you're going to a dance dinner party, your dance cruise, or an after party, you may not want to wear a big gown because it's impossible to dance in, but your regular training attire with a big, big skirt for your ballroom dancing can serve as an elegant backdrop for accessory, accessories similar to this. This is a latest color band, and as you are working into the evening section of your competition, that is a gorgeous evening look. But take it off, and you're ready to dance. Overall, dance jewelry is a lot of fun. Don't underestimate the power of the beautiful jewelry. It's going to make your wonderful costume even more glamorous. Thank you for being with me today. Till next time.